What is going on guys? Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise. We are back again with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time we are in Hyrule Field in Crenel Peak or close to Crenel Peak into this location right here that I'm showing you on the map and we're going to go and find a shrine that is inside of a cave. So when you get to this region here you will see that there's going to be a bloopy next to a tree down here. I'm just going to glide down and follow the bloopy and see where it leads us. Uh, normally bloopies, uh, they are in the middle of the of the field, they will just lead you into a cave. So let's go and find out where this little guy is going to lead us. Right, so there's a big cave in here, so we need to go inside. And uh, I'm going to warn you right now, there's a lot of digging in here, like breaking rocks, like uh, walls of rocks. Uh, at the beginning you, you walk in and you've got uh, a band of these um, Bokoblins in like one of the big Bokoblin uh, uh, bosses. So uh, the first thing that I did when I got in here is just shot a flower bomb uh, to try to, to get as much uh, health out of them as possible. And then I shot the big guy as well just to try and get him, get him to... Uh, uh, you know like to remove as much health as possible so I can kind of like deal with them separately because they can be ruthless especially when there's too many of them and then I just kept on using flower bombs until I got rid of the big guy uh, and um, I, I can use some other stuff as well kind of like um, uh, f uh, flame ones or if you want to do something like choo-choos like um, those ones that have got like an electric charge to them they work really well with these guys as well so I've got a couple to the side in here I've got some mushrooms as well but I'm going to use the yellow choo-choos and as you can see it is really effective that's it they is dead now so when when you get rid of all of them you can just pick up all the weapons that they drop there's going to be quite a few weapons around here so it's uh, it's worth uh, picking up everything that they drop because they drop quite quite a few good bits you know and uh, obviously bits of their body as well fangs and things like that so you can always sell that or uh, fuse them with your weapons it you know there's there's many different things you can do with that uh, and then once you're done we're going to go and cut these reeds in here the uh, these things that that are blocking the wall the cave the cave uh, entrance uh, uh, also be, be pick up the seed stake as well and break the boxes and there's this chest in here as well and there's going to be some flower bombs in here uh, or bomb flowers in here times five so it's always good to have uh, if you break these boxes there's going to, there are going to be some uh, arrows inside of them as well so it's always good to have as well always good to stock up on them and uh, in here there's some uh, flint and uh, there's a bit more in on the left hand side in here some amber and uh, what I used to cut these reeds is uh, my master sword if you haven't got that I don't know that there's going to be other swords that are going to work as well and then becomes the chore so you know I sped up all the parts that I'm breaking rocks and walls and things like that because it just takes such a long time uh, as you can see I'm just going in a straight line so start breaking until you see some light on the other side uh, yeah, and then you'll see that there's going to be like a kind of a, um, uh, like a dividing uh, body of water and then in here I just used the bomb flowers and destroyed some of the other side uh, so I can get like a, a foothold on the other side so I can start destroying the other bits as well there's going to be some horriblings in here uh, we need to get rid of them uh, and uh, and destroy the rest of the wall but uh, they're, they're not this one these guys are not very difficult uh, if you if you use some of the bomb arrows and um, or the bomb flowers and and deal with a little bit of damage then you're going to be able to uh, kind of like deal with them afterwards with whatever weapons you've got they are not very difficult to, to, to deal with I mean your friends if you've got any of them with you Tulin or you know all of the other guys they you're going to be able to help you and get rid of the horrible really really easily then when we get to this area here you know like there's a lot more to explore in this area so I would I would advise you to explore as much as you can I'm not going to show you every single thing because it's a very large cave I'm just going to go and keep on digging and uh, try to find out where the where the shrine is because the shrine is around here and there is also something to do inside of the shrine that's why this uh, video is a little bit longer in here we've got one of these guys in here uh, and uh, we need to get our uh, our uh, uh, star 
is it a star that they drop? I can't, bubble gem. It's a gem, sorry. You know, I, I pick up so many of these, but, you know, because I haven't played for a little while, I've been away. Um, and I had many pre-recorded videos. That's the reason why I, uh, I, um, I'm I struggling now to try to find out exactly what all these things are called. So when you get to the, that bit where you see the water, there's going to be some more uh, water break to the left. And this is where the shrine is. You can, you can hear the... The shrine, the shrine radar it's actually uh, beeping now and that's where the shrine is going to be right down there so we just need to go down and uh, get into the shrine it's the Jojun shrine if I'm not mistaken um, and uh, in the shrine obviously it will have something else for us to do inside of it Jojun shrine there you go in Hyrule field um, and the, the shrine itself is not like one of the ones that the, the Raru's blessing that you can just go and pick up whatever is inside of the chest and uh, and go and uh, and pick up your lighter blessing. You need to do stuff inside of it, despite it being such a long time to uh, to find this shrine. Um, this is the location of the shrine itself. So the Cranel Peak Cave is down here, where we entered, and then it's like in the middle of the of the mountain. You know, it's very far away. From the your the the original location where you got into the cave, uh, so uh, in this one is going to be another one of those ones that you uh, lose all your weapons and you need to fight the you know the constructs. Uh, there's quite a, a a few bits in here that I didn't understand what to do. Uh, there's loads of flame throwers, so you need to really be careful because the you know I got burned a couple of times and. Uh, it's really, really uh, uh, one of those things that you have to be really, really careful about um, because you've got no clothing or anything like that. You'll burn very quickly. Your health will de deteriorate very, very quickly. So as you get in, you see a construct spinning around on top of that cog. You will spot you straight away if you're going to go towards it. Uh, and But it, it's, a, it's one of those uh, archer ones, so it's going to be very, very difficult, very, very easy to... To get rid of it, there's a few a few strikes and you will be done. Uh, so if he fell down, as you can see, that that thing has got like a sensor that will know where you are. It is so odd. So what you can do with these ones is use your ultra hand and uh, grab it out of the pedestal and grab grab the whole pedestal really, and uh, we can take it and uh, put it somewhere else because it's uh, it's just an annoying little flamethrower that I, <laughs> I detest because it keeps on burning me all the time. So I just put it in the cog in the center, next to that uh, pillar over there. You can just attach it in there if you want to, and uh, and just leave it. And there's going to be some more halberds in here. So um, if you need some long reach weapons, then it's a it's a it's a really good one. In here, we're going to need to use the time shift, so we can uh, kind of like send it into another the, the different rotation. There's another construct in here. We're going to need to get rid of it, and he's got a hold bear as well. So it's uh, he's got a much much further reach than a normal short weapon. So uh, so it's always good to pick up those weapons before you come and fight this guy in here. Now we're going to jump down and uh, get the guy that uh, we were fighting earlier. He's still got a little bit of health, and he, he fell down to the bottom bit. We can come back up with the sand anyway, so it's uh, it's not a it's not a big issue. We can come directly onto the cog, and then there's going to be another flame thing in here. Oh, it's just so annoying these things. And there's this guy in here. Uh, and this one is uh, is is quite is more difficult than basically the other the other one. He's got a shield as well, so you have to hit him a few times. And your weapons are so weak. It's better if you fuse them with something to try to to make them uh, a little bit stronger. But uh, I didn't do that. And um, yeah, uh, this guy disappeared on a wall. I have no idea where he went. I think uh, I don't know if I killed him, but I don't think I did. You know, like I I was like. I was fighting it, and then suddenly it disappeared on the wall. I think it's this one here. Here we go. Uh, there you go, see? That's it. So I don't know if he is dead or not, or if it's a glitch. I have no idea. But yeah, he disappeared in the wall. I was I was a bit shocked to find, <laughs> to, to un trying to understand exactly what the heck is going on. So um, yeah, so when you're ready, everything has been destroyed in here so what we need to do is just uh, use a sand and go onto the top of the cog 
and uh, there's going to be some more things in here as well as you can see I got burned I was trying to get these bomb flowers in here and there's going to be another bow in here and a few more weapons so I was trying to stock up on these things in here because I still as you can see the constructs bar is still got some uh, uh, life in it uh, and uh, so basically I wanted to uh, I wanted to uh, stock up on weapons just in case if I need them so when you're ready we're gonna go up to the top now so we just need to use the ascent power and go on to the top of the cog and then all we need to do is just jump onto the other cog go on to the other side and we're going to use the recall power in order to uh, spin the other cog the other way this one here and there's going to be a couple of guys up the top as well so use a rewind power and uh, we're going to go all the way to the other side to the top there's going to be a an archer right behind us so you need to be careful uh, he doesn't shoot you uh, just shoot him in the eye one time and they are really easy to defeat one one strike and that should do the trick but you just have to have the weapons basically because if you don't have the weapons then you're not going to be able to do anything and try to fuse some of the weapons as well so there's going to be another two on the other side uh, the construct bar is going down slowly so there's going to be one guy in here we need to get rid of this guy as well and this one is uh, it's not very difficult, but it's not the, the hardest one as well. Um, uh, but if you set him on fire and just hit him a few times, he's got a shield as well. But if you hit him a few times, you might be able to uh, get shield from his end. Uh, bomb, bomb flowers work well in here as well, but it can spin. So just be careful and uh, and or you will be hit by him. Uh, it's pretty, um, pretty easy, but... Uh, with a shield it becomes a little bit tougher basically um, but he's uh, I, mean, I was trying to flurry rush him but I just couldn't do it uh, trying to get that shield away from him and now suddenly I've got no uh, no weapons here we go the shield is now off his end and uh, I can go and really lay into him and get rid of him because this is the last one that we need to do and that is it it is done and then all you need to do is go into uh, to get you what's inside of the chest and uh, to get uh, your light of blessing from uh, from the other room. The the door for the room is gonna is gonna open up and you're gonna get your um, your weapons back, all your gear back. And there's nothing else to collect in here. Uh, there's only one chest in this uh, in this uh shrine so all you need to do now I, I was i was gonna go the other way but it's pointless because there is absolutely absolutely nothing else in there you can just go and pick up what's inside the chest and uh get your last blessing and that's it you finish this one so i guess this is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching if you did like this video or if this video helped you please give us a like consider subscribing so i can continue releasing more content like this if you'd like to know how i make my youtube videos how i work with video audio what programs i use what software i use and the methods that i use I've created a few videos for members, so if you become a member, you will have access to all my catalogue of videos, and I'm releasing some more very, very soon. So I guess this is it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.